Well, the individual championship wasn't the only thing on the line today in Scottsdale. Today was the last day of stroke play and the last chance for the 15 teams remaining to make it to the eight-team match play, which begins tomorrow. So, Stanford locked up the number one seed, so it really came down to the fight for eight seed down to the wire. How about this from Pepperdine senior Reese Guzman on her final hole for birdie? Well, it was looking really tight race where it could have switched at any moment. But then Reese's putt right here really gave them that cushion, that boost they need to separate from the rest of the pack. Yeah, so that would put them on the right side of the bubble line to put them in that top eight. And then it was the last player on the course, junior Leon Higo on the par four ninth for birdie. And what a way to end it for the Pepperdine Waves. Maybe give them a little wave of momentum. Oh, for I tomorrow. like what you did there. <laughs> so Pepperdine grabbed the final spot in match play by three strokes. The first time the women's team have ever made it this far in the national championships. It is Stanford who walk away as the number one seed. But hey, it doesn't matter at this point because anything can happen in match play. But let's just give some appreciation to the Waves, Amanda. They are coming in in red-hot form. They've never had a season like this in the program history. Of course, the men have won two national championships. But how huge is this opportunity for the Waves tomorrow? Well, they, they, you mentioned they've had such a good season. They've had six wins, three in a row including regionals and then they also have won four out of their last five events so they are really playing very hot golf right now and this is a way to build a program this is a way for little girls right now who are watching at home Pepperdine has a great women's program that they are now making it to match play and anything can happen with all five players making all the all west coast conference first team all west coast conference they have five very solid players. So in match play, that is extremely important. They might not just have that one superstar that's going to shoot 20 under. They have five solid players that can all win a point for their team. We've seen that back in 2018 when Arizona took down number one seed UCLA. They were the eighth seed. Uh, that underdog mentality, there is some power to it. Uh, you kind of have nothing to lose. Um, and they're going to be facing Stanford tomorrow. That's going to be an extremely difficult match with how just decorated and solid and strong Stanford is. But again, that beauty of match play, if those five players can all really come together and play well and play as good as they have, they won regionals. We know that we ha they have it in them. And they, we just saw uh, two incredible made putts on their final 18th hole to get that mm -hmm. eighth or get that eighth spot really anything can happen yeah huge momentum and what a storyline that would be well speaking of the storylines that we've got heading into these quarterfinals jim gallagher jr i know you're standing by what's caught your eye i think texas texas a&m uh you look at all the past you know rivalry future rivalry when they go to the sec a&m wins the sec this year that's going to be a really i think that's going to be one of the best uh, matchups tomorrow when you look at it texas has been very consistent one through five a&m's threw out a couple higher scores maybe than texas but that ought to be a good battle uh gary chadwell's done an incredible job second year uh, at a&m he's got them in the in the match play again and I, I just think they're getting better and better they can rely on what they've done or what they did last year i think that'll help them and that's going to be a fun battle to see how that turns out to me that's the one that's got my eye the most is is that battle right there